We are going to continue with our work with Microsoft Word this week. And this week we're going to work on adding a border. Now you may not be able to add a border if you're using Google Docs, but if you are using Google Docs, please just watch this. That way you can know how to do it. So I'm going to look at the different tabs over here. Now we have insert, which we've uh, worked with last week. We worked with insert and they have a drawing tab. If you want to draw, we have design and yours may look a little bit different um, based on which version of Word you have. But for me, I have design and then I have a page border. So I have design and page border. And um, if you can't do a page border, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You may have a different version of Word or you may be in Google Docs, but please just watch this so you know how to do it. So after I click design and page border, I'm going to click box and then I'm going to pick which style I want. And I could pick one of these styles if I want. I could pick the color that I want, maybe blue. And then I have, so I have box over here I click and I click my style and color. And then I could pick how wide I like it to be. Now if you don't want to do a, a color design like this, you could choose something like this, like an apple or a heart. It, it's up to you what you like to do. But I'll just pick a color like this. And now when I do this, I have a nice border on my page. This week we're going to write on our favorite sports. So what's your favorite sport? And we're going to pick our font again, like we've talked in the past, and you can change your size over here. And you could change your color. And I'll make it blue so everything matches. So you could start with my favorite. So after you write three to five sentences, and if you're going to write three sentences, please make them three very long sentences. If you're writing shorter sentences, please go to five sentences. After you write your sentences, and you did your border. And just to review the way I did my border was a design and page border. Then after page border, I click box and then I pick my color. If you don't have a page border, uh, that's okay. I would like you to add a photo of your sport that you enjoy playing. So I do insert and insert a picture. And if you have a picture you know, from home, you could upload it from picture from file. That's how you would upload a picture from home. You'd click insert picture picture from file and now you have to upload your, your your photo but if you do not have a photo from home you could just go online pictures and you could pick online photos and I'll just pick baseball in here so I'm gonna click over in here and I search for baseball I can put a baseball in there I click insert now I have my baseball and you can uh, make it smaller by clicking the little dots there Okay, and then when you're done, you could do file, file, save as, and then you're going to put your name and baseball. So your favorite baseball, and then you can put your name afterwards and you click save. If you want to save another way, you could just click on the blue disk here, and that's how you also could save. Okay, so two ways to save. And now I'll show you how to do it if you're on Google Docs. If you're on Google Docs, what you could do is you could do add, and then add a doc. After you finished writing your paragraph, what you could do, and you see this red line means there's a spelling error. You could click it and do a space in there to fix it if you would like. And we'll talk about that as the weeks go on. Now, they don't have a border on uh, Google Docs, but you can do insert an image. If you have an image that you have um, from your computer, you could upload it through here. If you have a, a photo of yourself in, in Google Photos, you could put it here. Or you could take a photo of yourself if you have a photo of yourself playing the sport. Or you could just do search the web. And I just put baseball. And I have a nice baseball photo I could insert. And I think it's actually probably the same photo that we have over there. And um, if you don't like that spot where it is, you could click over here to undo. The undo arrow right here. And you could put it back where you want. So I'll do insert, image, search the web, baseball, put it in here. I click it, then insert, and I have my baseball, and I can make it nice and small by clicking that little bubble, that little box, I should say, on the bottom here. This is, I could stretch it how I want it to be. And then when I'm done, I just click turn in over here, and I could turn in my work. If you want to, I will also, you would click turn in to turn in. You could, I want to show you also how to add your work if you did Microsoft uh, Word. You would just do add or create here, and you'd say add or create a file. And then what you do is you just drag your file in here. So if you have your file on your desktop, let me close this out. If you have your file on the desktop, you can drag it in here. 
So I'll go here, my favorite sport, and I just drag it in there. And now I could click Turn In. I click Turn In, and then I'm done with my project for this week. So that's our work for this week. Please write in Google Word or Google Docs your favorite sport and add a photo. And if you're in Microsoft Word, please add a border. If you can't add a, a border because you are in a version of Word where you don't have the feature, or you're in Google Docs and you have, don't have the feature, that's okay. You could just do the photo and the writing. And please remember also to change your font and your style and the color of your writing to something that looks nice.